sorry, I forgot to forgot to update these. Really sorry, guys. Um, I won't be doing time skips in this update, but I will do go for this bit though. So this is okay. okay. Yeah, that's fine. Okay. All right, hold on. Mm. Ah. Go. Good. All right. Okay. So this is Radiohead, Pit Amnesia. It's the box set um, for the anniversary for Kid A and Amnesia. Amnesia, you know. It's a pretty good um, release. It's a Kid A is my second favorite Radiohead album. It's a really really cool set. Definitely one of the coolest um, vinyls I own. I'll take out just one record. You probably get the gist because all the records are the same color. They're white, but this is definitely something every Radiohead fan should own, especially if you're a fan of Kid A. Amnesiac or both. Um, really great, really thing. Really happy this came out. I'm glad I bought it. It was expensive though. But um, anyways, now um, all right, on to some more stuff. So um, all right, this is um, Uncut Gems soundtrack by One Eight Eight Jerks Point Never. It's a great film, great soundtrack. Um, one of the best soundtracks I've ever heard ever, actually. And the soundtrack fits really well with the movie. And it actually works really, really well on its own, too. And this actually might be my favorite thing that one of your heat tricks point never did, I think. One of the best pro progressive electronic albums I've ever listened to as well. It kind of reminds me a bit of Blade Runner's music, which I also really love. Um, End Position by Street Sex. Um, really good release. I think I prefer this a tiny bit more over End Position. They're both really good albums. They're a recent electro industrial and industrial rock group from Texas. They're really good. Um, let's see. This is um, Gitz Gilberto by Stan Gitz and J O A Gilberto. Um, it's a <clears throat> Bossa Nova release. Classic and Bossa Nova music. I find it hard to believe that if you're a fan of Bossa Nova, you haven't listened to this, you gotta check this out. I don't, know, I don't even know if that's even possible. But it's definitely one of the best in Bossa Nova. It's a very re rich, relaxing, calming, just really pretty sound. He has some oil elements of jazz. Stan Gitz is actually from Pennsylvania. He's not from Brazil. But they did a really good job on this, I think. There's some lyrics that are in Portuguese and there's some lyrics that are in uh, English. They both did really good on this, I think. It's a really great release. This is um, Live in Japan. Live from Japan, I mean. All right, front by Death's Dynamic Shroud. This is a really good live album. One of the more underrated releases of 2018, I think. And I think this is probably my favorite release that they've done. You know, it's just a live album. But I thought they did really good on this. It's really pretty blue, some green on it. The cover's kind of vinyl. It's a Vaporwave release, by the way, and they're from Pennsylvania. This is a really good album. This one, I Love Supreme by John Coltrane, one of the best jazz albums ever recorded, and his best in my eyes, and probably in a lot of people's eyes. I got this at Target. The record is Orange. It's an avant-garde jazz sound, but it's also, it's generally pretty accessible. I think it just kind of gets better after the album goes on. To, like the windy drums near the end of the song and the progressive, the love supreme and the first track. Really great album. Definitely one of the best jazz albums of the 60s and probably all time. But anyways, um, that's about it. Thank you guys for watching. Bye.